Hey guys, welcome to episode three of Tabata Quick Clips with Rainier Pollard. I hope you're warmed up and ready to burn. Okay y'all, today we're gonna get started with everybody's favorite thighs and tushy. I'm gonna start with my right leg in front and it's seemingly a regular lunge except I'm gonna slide my left toe in towards my right foot even more and have as little weight on my left toe as I can. So I'm literally putting like my big left toe on the ground, barely, and I'm lifting the weight off of my right toe and putting it all on the right heel. So guess what? All of that weight could be in that derriere right there. Now what we're gonna do for our first Tabata interval of 20 seconds is just stay down, let it marinate. You can pulse it a little bit. So join me here, get down low, and Let's pulse it low to the ground. 20 seconds, getting into it, feeling that booty bird. As you can see, I'm in my backyard today. So since I'm filming outside, please forgive me for any lighting issues. Not that my normal videos have been um, stellar lighting wise, <laughs> but this is gonna take some adjustment. I just wanted to enjoy the fresh air, rest. Now, since we've made our lunge a little bit shorter, don't be surprised. If your balance is a little off, it is gonna challenge that as well. Second set, let's get down. As you can see, I have barely any weight on that left toe. That's why I can almost just lift that foot off the ground at a moment's notice, right? 10 seconds, ooh, already feeling it. Push that booty back. All that weight is basically being focused through the right heel and up. Now we're gonna stay just as low, same form on the lunge, except I want your left foot to move side to side. So first let's start by getting low and side, 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 side. Really showing me how little weight you're keeping on that left foot, just like I was talking about before. Able to almost pick it up and turn this into a single leg squat. You have seven more seconds in this Tabata interval. Let's get it. Ooh, rest, ooh, I know. The burn settles in quickly. That's why we like these Tabata intervals. I say it week after week, short and sweet. Let's get it low. Last set on the right leg, let's go. Side to side, tap it, tap it. My foot is going to both sides of my right foot. So my left leg is traveling back and forth. How low can you go? How low can you go? Sit down, sit down, push the booty back, push the booty back. Only three more seconds, two, one, and rest, very good. Okay, all we gotta do, turn it around. I'm gonna move my timer. Okay, sit low, slide that right foot in, and marinate. You see how you can see almost the entire bottom of my right foot? Don't be looking at my booty, y'all. I said look at the bottom of my foot. Okay, see how you can see the nice colors underneath the shoe? That's how high I want your back foot to be so I know all of that weight is on the forward foot. Rest, stand tall, very good. So I always think a good trick with the forward leg is to lift the big toe, force the weight to the middle of the foot. And down, sit into it. See how my knees are almost side by side and a regular lunge would be all the way back here. But right now, we wanna move that back foot forward. Force the front leg and that front booty cheek to work even harder, y'all. Stay low, try to enjoy yourself. Marinate, 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 and rest. Okay, one more minute, two sets, and we're done with the first Tabata interval already. I know, miracles do happen. Get low, side to side, let's go. Nice little finishing exercise. I did two of my own fitness classes this morning, so my legs are burning. So trust me, if you just came off of like one of my 45 minute pop sugar videos or something, I feel your pain, I'm with you, I empathize. Now let's suck it up and work. Rest. One more set. Let's get low. First Tabata is done. And one more to go for that extra credit assignment. Get low. Go. Side to side here. Tap it, tap it. Tap it, tap it. Feel it, feel it. Love it, love it. Ten more seconds. And it's over like that. Ooh. I'm glad to finally be outside though. Enjoying the fresh air. Not cooped up. Oh in my living room rest. If my little groan didn't uh, tell you it was time to rest, then I'm telling you right now. Okay, on to 
our second exercise. We're gonna be doing side planks today. I'm gonna to be doing it on my hands, but you can always just bring it to the elbow to make it easier. So I'm putting my hand down, making sure my feet are stacked to make it harder, or you can have one foot farther in front of the um, bottom leg to make it easier. Hold the hips as high as you can, really stack the shoulder blades, chest is open, timer is on, hold strong. I just want you to keep your body long, keep those hips up high, and keep pressuring yourself. Breathe through it, and rest. First sit down. Now I'm gonna add little um, options to make it harder. If you don't wanna do that, just focus on keeping that side plank on and popping. Second set, let's go. Hold strong, hips up high, getting a nice full body work here. Even though it's mainly trying to focus on that right side oblique, we're getting the glutes working, keeping those hips high, working the full back. When it comes to exercises like this one, rest. I want you to really focus on engaging as much of the body as possible, rather than just letting the shoulder work on its own. Okay, third set, go. If you like, we can add a little dip in the hips, high to low, nice. A little extra range of motion, gonna help you get into those obliques and feel, ooh, what I'm feeling right now, ooh, which is some burn. Rest, okay, one more set, we switch sides, and the workout is complete. Okay, let's get it done, y'all. Go, stack it up, find the balance, and low to high, low to high. Whew. Just breathing through, finding that focus, less than 10 seconds on the last set. If it's burning like gnarly, good. You got it done right, whew, and rest. I'm gonna do a quick change with my mat. You probably don't have to. That took about half of that 10 second rest. Load it, hold. See, I'm trying to exaggerate my posture. I'm opening up my chest to the sky, really reaching my hands up high, really letting my hips rise as tall as possible, squeezing my butt and holding strong. Whew. Rest. So it's about time in this workout that I mentioned that I did see Game of Thrones this week, but ending hurt me. It hurt me, y'all. I'm still recovering. Second set on the left side. Let's go. And again, if you need to make this any easier, you can drop to the left elbow and do it that way. You can put your right foot completely in front of the body, really getting a lot more weight um, distributed off your arm and onto those legs. Or let's just fight through and hold here. Rest. One more minute, two more 20 second holds, and your extra credit assignment for this week is all done. Go. Hold strong. And if you can, drop it low, raise it high. Drop it low, raise it high. Kind of like doing a salsa dance, but um, well, not as well and not as fast. And, okay, just forget that comparison. There's just a little bit of hip movement, okay? That's all I'm saying. Rest. If you didn't know, salsa's all in the hips. It's all in the hips. That's all I was trying to teach you. Okay, y'all. One more set. Let's finish today's workout. Go. Holding strong. Up hips up high, and drop it low, raise it high. Drop it low, raise it high. Less than 10 seconds, y'all fight through. How much of your body can you engage in this movement? Don't leave it all on the shoulders to get this work done. And rest. Okay, that's it for episode three. Thank you for joining me. Questions, comments, or concerns? I'm available. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys next week.